Lee, here at Hecate, you've got another machine, HEC 630, with a FANUC control. Now, yet again, something very different. Again, there's, there's a massive range of options with these machines. So you mentioned the FANUC control. We offer FANUC, we offer Siemens, we offer Hyde 9 in some cases. But there's, there's uh, effectively three ranges of size within this family. So there's a 500 pallet machine, a 630 that we're standing next to, and then an 800. This trunnion that you've got on this machine, that this looks like a heavyweight product here. What's different about it? Well, it's very heavy duty. There's, there's two configurations on these machines. There's a simple B-axis configuration, so a four-axis machine, and then there's the trunnion which gives you the B-axis, and then the rotation from the trunnion giving you your fifth axis. And you're right, this is the biggest, strongest system on the market today with a single drive one side, but huge brakes on either side of the trunnion. So we can either simultaneously cut in five axes, or we can lock very heavy duty components in situ to do some heavy roughing and finishing cuts on, the, on these uh, components. Now you've got quite a deep bed here. So is that mainly for the Swarf conveyor? It's exactly that. There's a, there's a huge Swarf conveyor runs the length of the machine, as you can see. And, and the, the machine's like a huge bathtub, the Swarf, just evacuate straight into the bath or straight out the back of the machine. You've got no hot swarf stuck inside the machine, changing the temperature within the machine and affecting the machine ability of the components. And what would you say are the main benefits to this range of machines? Well, there's the, the number of different options. The spindle, for example, this particular machine's got a, a horizontal gear spindle. We offer a simultaneous head. We offer a horizontal vertical head. We offer a quill on all of these size machines, which I believe is unique to us. So whatever the, the shape or size or material of the component, we've got a solution within this machine. And is it quite flexible for different sectors, this type of machine? So for instance, automotive, aerospace, oil and gas? All sectors. We've been very successful in the UK recently within the aerospace sector. It's a very strong product in the oil and gas with the DBF head or the quill head. It's used in automotive, it's used in general engineering. So what you're saying to me really is the HEC models, there's a base model and there's so many different flexibilities of options for the customer's needs. Lots of different ways to build it. There's another one right next to us. Let's take a look at that and we can talk about the tool storage system. So Lee, this is a HEC 630, same as next door, but a very different configuration. Exactly. So the, so the base is the same. This is a four axis version. So uh, just a B-axis and you've got, you can see, two very strong twin drives in, in the Z-axis, so extremely high uh, power machine. The spindle group's different on this machine. It's not just a horizontal spindle, it's a HV head with a mechanical hearth coupling. So you've got either vertical or horizontal only, very, very rigid setup. It's not the five-axis simulation version that, that I spoke about earlier. So you've got a cylinder on top of the Y-axis. What's that for, Lee? What you've got is, uh, you've got, as I said before, very heavy duty twin ball screws in the Z axis. You've got a single ball screw in Y. And what the cylinder does is a hydraulic cylinder that takes all the weight off of the spindle group. So a HV head's quite a heavy spindle group. So if you're doing an orbit, you don't want a, a crossover where your X and Y axis uh, run from a plus to a minus. And that cylinder takes away that, uh, that problem from potentially happening. And Bearing in mind the, the, the first machine we've actually seen, this has got quite a big tool change. We have a tower system. Each tower has 90 positions. We can hold up to 450 tools using the towers. Then we have some additional units, as you can see here, that take 15 tools individually that can be used as buffers. So if you want a very large storage system as this machine, you can go 450. If you only need 40, 60, 120, then you just have a simple chain type uh, system. Now, to me, it looks a very rigid machine. I know we say that a lot in our videos, but it, it really does. I, I presume that gives the accuracy, but also repeatability. Well, it gives you ac accuracy, it gives you repeatability. It also gives you the ability to take very large cuts. The faster you take very big cuts, the faster you produce your part, the more money you make. But this isn't a standard model again, is it? Well, it is a standard. They're all standard mod models built from different modules. So for us, all we're using here are standard pieces of kit to build the machine to suit the customer's requirements.